Hi, I'm Joe Falstad for Real Time with IPC. And with me today is uh, a longtime friend, Ray Prasad, one of the uh, pioneers of surface mount technology. Ray wrote the, one of the first books, Surface Mount Technology. Yes. Um, and uh, Ray and I worked together at Boeing back in uh, 1979. Yeah. And Ray then went off to Intel, where he became uh, kind of the go-to guy for most of Intel's surface mount technology. And uh, I think if he'd have stayed there, he'd have wound up an Intel fellow without any question. And it's a pleasure to have you here today, Ray. Yeah, thank uh, you. Thank good you, Good to Joe. chat with you. Now, you've been obviously involved in a whole bunch of things in the electronics industry. You now have your own consultancy group, and you do a lot of training programs. And you're chairing a, a, one of the IPC committees here. Yes, uh, yes. Thank which you. one is that? Thank you, Joe. Uh, yes, we do go back a long time. <laughs> <laughs> we do go back a long time in the 79. That's what, 30 years or so? Yeah, 30 years, yeah. A long time, long time, Joe. Uh, if I may just add, you know, IPC has become such a big organization now, but it was, you were at the beginning, and you know, well, when there were just three people there or so. Well, and it was so a small group, yeah. A small group, <laughs> and uh, you have made a great contribution to IPC. Well, thank you, Ray. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, this get, is about you. <laughs> yeah, getting back to your question, this is, uh, the, uh, you know, I have chaired a lot of committees about the land pattern and package right. cracking and ball grid array. Right now I'm chairing this committee uh, called IPC 7093. Actually, we have that meeting today. Okay, good. And uh, we started a year ago and uh, uh, in Portland. Mm -hmm. That's where we did the outline. And this is about the... Uh, leadless components, uh, we are calling them bottom termination okay. component, BTC, and the document is IPC 7093. Okay. And uh, these packages, uh, the BTCs, uh, there are a lot of names, uh, QFN, quad flat pack, no lead, right. micro lead frame, we used to call in old days LCCs. Right, right. Uh, now we don't want to call them that because that had a bad name. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, New name will help maybe. Right. Uh, so there are various types of these parts, and uh, these components are so cheap because they're essentially a sheet of copper, right. wire bond on them and mold it, and so the price is really, really good of right. these packages. Right. Uh, so that's the good news. The bad news is that the users, there is no lead, there is no ball. Right. So everything has to be perfect. The right. package has to be perfect and right. flat. Right. The board has to be perfect and flat, and as you know, things are never perfect. Right. So that creates a huge problem for the user. Yeah. So we thought in IPC that I it, it think uh, since it's being used so much, there is a lot of widespread use of this component that we might as well have design and assembly guideline. Okay. How to design it, how to assemble it. Mm -hmm. And so we have done a first draft, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. We had a two-day meeting in Phoenix, two-day meeting in Portland. Okay. And we're going to review that this afternoon. Okay. And uh, by in July of this year, in a few months, we'll have another two-day meeting in Portland to maybe get a little better shape. Okay and we are shooting to get it released by next time, uh, this time at Apex. Great. So that's on a fast track and we'll see. All right, well it's hopefully there's <laughs> maybe somebody out there who will be uh, wanting to participate. And, uh, yeah. Oh, but, uh, thanks for reminding me because we are looking for people who can, who know about these bottom termination components, like right. to make contribution. We welcome their input. Uh, yeah. We are having a lot of these local regional meetings as well. Right. Uh, for people to make the contribution. Uh, they can send me an email, contact IPC, if they can make to these meetings. So, so, so to contact you, it's uh, yeah, yeah, SMT yeah. Solver, is that yeah. the one you use? Yeah, SMT Solver, solving SMT problem. <laughs> right. At AOL, right? Yeah, AOL or Aprasad.com, either one. Okay, okay. Yeah, that so, both of them will work, yes. So, so now you also are uh, still involved with um, Beamworks as well, yes, right? Yes, yes, Beamworks. Yeah, that uh, that idea was born in my basement, and uh, okay, <laughs> it's, that goes back more than ten years, right. 11, 12 years, and it's a unique machine, uh, Joe. Uh, there is a uh, basically it's all in one. Uh, this is the only machine of its kind, and I wish there was some competition too, but there isn't. Uh, it is a machine that has a the whole SMT line collapsed into one, right. uh, including the rework. So you have the laser, you have pick and place, you have printing, rather dispensing, right. rework, 
Uh, and that's becoming very useful in these kind of technology, the, the lead-free transition, with yep, the yep. backward and forward compatibility problem, we know about that, so right. that's helping. Uh, with the mobile products that are very tightly packed, mm -hmm. and if you have to do some high volume rework, it's really nice for the laser to go in exactly the right spot, take yep. it out, and remove and replace yeah. it. So it's really good um, yeah. equipment from that standpoint. Just deliver as much heat as you need locally. Locally, just how right. much you need, and the less leave the rest of the components uh, right. alone. Yeah. Get the get the heat to the joint and keep the board cool. Yeah, that's so, a great idea. Yeah. I, I trust that it's going <laughs> to latch on here. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. And we have more than 30 installations, mostly oh, okay. at the uh, defense the companies. Uh, uh, now we are getting some of these uh, CMs as well for high volume rework. Yeah. But for the defense companies, it's a pretty much a, a whole SMT line because yeah. their volume is so low that they don't need to waste all the space. Yeah, what, what, I mean, it's a small footprint. Yeah, it's very small footprint. Actually, at about a meter by meter, so like the three feet by three feet or yeah. something. Yeah. So it's just in any office, it will oh. fit in, in any office. Yeah. Sounds like in these kinds of circumstances, that would be something that people yeah. are looking for, for sure. <laughs> yeah. You know, being able to respond. There's a time for innovation, being yeah. able to get products going quickly. Yeah. We certainly yeah. would to make the changes. That, so. Yeah, anyway, right. So now you're do, still doing your training. And the training, yeah, all the all different subjects in the SMT that's always yeah. been going on for a long time. Uh, uh, the lead-free, yeah. uh, we have brought on some other associates to do the other subjects that okay. people are interested in, like the flip chip or uh, the quality, yeah. uh, you know, SPC, lean manufacturing, those mm -hmm. kinds of things. But my associates are doing those. Uh, and then a lot of these we do at on-site as well, where okay. if we have a lot of people, we just come to you yeah. instead of, because Great. it's a lot cheaper for you to send 10 people to my office than it's easier for me to just come to your office. Yeah, that absolutely so makes sense. We'd rather absolutely do that. Super. Well, Ray, great. I really appreciate your taking time. Yeah. It's always well, great to you, catch Joe. up with you, my friend. Thank you very much. And thank you. we'll look forward to yeah. seeing you at some of these meetings here. Yes. I'll All show right. up All at right. Bad Penny. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Ray. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks for listening. Uh, hopefully you'll get a chance to visit Ray's website, get to know him, actually. He's a great, great character. Yeah. Thanks again for listening. I'm Joe Felstead for Real Time with IPC. Mm -hmm.